Namaskaram ladies and gentlemen it's a great pleasure and privilege for me connecting with you once again in the context of learning music with NC so today we are going to see another wonderful song which was uploaded by me long time back with a lot of uh, people have shown interest but i have not given the very slow tutorial of this wonderful song and with the result some of you might have found it difficult to learn the song so i thought in this uh, presentation i will try and give you much more hands on how to play this particular song this song is from the movie bayju bawra 1952 the movie came it's a pretty old movie but uh, the song is a serenjeevi song which is composed by the greatest uh, composer of all times naushad and the song is sung by mahmud rafi the lyrics has been wonderfully written by shakil badai is an amazing uh, lyrics that which was loved by everyone who was able to sing the song or hear the song if you go to youtube you will find enormous amount of uh, resources available for the song but nevertheless i thought i will uh, try to cover it in a little more detailed manner as we have been doing and this song has been composed uh, in asavari dart asavari dart is a wonderful uh, dart among the 10 darts which you may know where the ga da and ni are the common swaras so let us try to learn the asavari dart which is the basis of this particular song then i will explain what this rag is all about so this song has been uh, taught in the c sharp scale as usual the pahla kala what we call this one and uh, the asavari dart is like this sa re which is a suddha re re to you call it and i said this is the komal ga this is the suddha ga this is the komal ga so asavari dart uses the komal ga sa ri ga then we have the ma which is the which is the suddha ma is not the tevar ma it's the suddha ma and this is the pa and this is the komal da this is the komal the ni this is the tar sat tak sa once again so asavari dart is These are the seven swaras of the Asavari Dart. It makes so melodious purely because the ga, da, and komal ni. These three swaras make this so beautiful, like this. So this is the Asavari Dart, basically. Now one interesting aspect of this particular song is in the mandra saptak this is the pa actually as we have seen this is the pa of the madhya saptak this is the pa of the mandra saptak now this particular song starts from the mandra saptak pa goes right up to the tar saptak pa is an unimaginable kind of a composition by Naushad in the youtube you will find how the song has touched the many hearts it was one of the most difficult song that ever composed so he starts from the pa of the mandra saptak goes right up to the pa of the tar saptak 
you will hardly find any song which is uh, having a range of uh, starting from the mandara saptak to tar saptak uh, uh, this many range of uh, swaras so that's what it is and coming to the rag which is derived from the asavari dad this is the darbari kannada rag darbari kannada rag is one of the most melodious rag purely because it came from the akbar darbar where tansen seem to have initiated this rag so you will find most of the rags which have been initiated during the time of the mogal empire they were all based on some of these kind of uh, rags which are called darbari kannada because in the darbar tansen believed to have played this for the pleasure of akbar it goes like this <laughs> the indication of the darbari kannada rag and this particular song uh, is now going to be covered from the c sharp basically so we are going to use this particular range from the madhya saptak but the song will go right up to the mandra saptak pa to the tar saptak pa so that is what it is so let us look at how the arog and avrog uh, looks like in the case of uh, asavari dad with the darbari kannada rag no. so before we end this uh, start up uh, introductory knowledge on the song i just want to give you an idea what is pakkad is all about we have discussed what is pakkad in the past pakkad is nothing but the identity of the rag basically that is uh, how do you identify this particular song has been composed in the darbari kannada rag so the pakkad goes like this so initially ga ri ri sa comes the the 
you see that? That's how the pocket is. That means if you sharpen your ears and then try to register this uh, particular way this uh, swaras are being touched upon, then you will understand what pocket is all about. <laughs> That's the way it is. And finally, before we conclude this part of this uh, presentation, the tal, the most suitable tal for this is uh, keherva. So you can use the keher, keherva tal, which is essentially 4 by 4. So that will suit. You can keep the tempo around 90 or so. So that would be ideal for you to play this song. Thank you very much and look forward to share with the further details of this particular song. I will try and cover the entire song, every piece of the interlude and prelude music. Thereby you can master this particular song and then enjoy playing it uh, at your home or in your profession. Thank you very much. Nice talking to you.